Welcome back to the College Football Predictions and Locks video, and let's get started right now with a recap of last week. We went 3-3, three and three, and none of our over-unders changed, so we had a pretty even week. We're still down 90 bucks, so we'll hope to get that back this week with a loaded week, and I think we have the most locks we've ever had. We started off last week with two losses with Michigan, barely losing off that fumble, and then Iowa just getting smacked by Wisconsin on the road, and then got back to even with Washington State winning outright, plus 15 and a half on the road at ASU, BYU taking it home late night against Virginia with a blowout at home, Fresno State beat San Diego State, so that one didn't hit, but then Notre Dame cleaned up UNC for the three and three week and let's get right into the next set of locks and we're going to start off in the ACC with an NC State team minus two and a half at Florida State. Florida State obviously since the 0-4 start has played good but I still think that NC State is the better team. Obviously they've taken losses as of late but I think that they're a safe bet to get it done at Florida State here. Next up, we move into the SEC. Mississippi State is the hot team right now against the Arkansas team that is coming off a bye week and hasn't really played a real opponent in a couple weeks. Obviously, they lost close to Ole Miss, but Ole Miss has gone down in the recent weeks. So I think a hot Mississippi State team should be a safe cover, even on the road, plus five and a half. If they lose, this will be close. Another SEC play. We're going to have Auburn money line plus 165. And there's not really that many teams that are hotter than Auburn right now coming off back to back ranked wins. Obviously, Texas A&M has been hot in their own right. They haven't surrendered a loss since the one to Mississippi State. But I think Auburn will come in to Kyle Field and take care of business. Next up, we have Big 12 action. Baylor minus six and a half against TCU. And for some reason, Vegas just does not respect Baylor at all. They don't respect their win over Oklahoma State or BYU. And so I'm going to take them minus six and a half at TCU. Obviously, this is a big rivalry game, but TCU is just an abysmal opponent. They've gone nowhere but downwards in their recent weeks. And I think Baylor should be safe to win by at least a touchdown in this game. Other Big 12 action, we've got Texas plus seven at Iowa State. And I wouldn't even think about the money line for this one, but... Texas has a track record of just choking these games against good teams. Iowa State was ranked last week. Obviously, they lost to West Virginia, but Texas also suffered a loss to Baylor in a game that they should have had put away. Texas, it's the same story every week, especially on the road. They'll get up early, and then they'll surrender the lead late, and they'll lose very close. So if they do that again, we'll cover. And let's move on to Wake Forest against UNC. We're going to take Wake Forest money line. I know this, this line is rapidly moving in UNC's favor, so we could get some good value on this one. No one is respecting Wake Forest, and, you know, they're not that good of a team as the AP poll has them eighth. I think that will change when the college football playoff committee gets their hands on them, but UNC is just not that good of a team, and we're going to continue fading them this week with the money line play for Wake Forest. Next up. Tennessee at Kentucky, and Kentucky is a team that's gone downhill in recent weeks. Obviously, Tennessee hasn't won every match they've played going down the stretch here, but I think they're a better team than this Kentucky team overall, even if they don't have the wins to show for it, and they should be a safe cover plus three and a half on the road. Next up, we've got Louisiana Tech at UAB plus 13.5. UAB is coming off a loss to Rice, and Louisiana Tech... You know, they have an abysmal record, but this is a team that's kept it close with some really quality teams, and I think they'll be, you know, out for a win. Obviously, their bowl eligibility is on the line here, so I think that they will play this one close, if not win the game, obviously in the tough road environment. And finally, the ninth play of the day, and these are all locks, mind you. Colorado State at Wyoming in the Mountain West. We're going to take Colorado State minus three and a half. If they don't win this outright, I think it should be a close game. This is a Colorado State team that's played t these tough Mountain West opponents to the bitter end. Wyoming is not one of those tough opponents. Obviously, they played Iowa tough, and I think they should be able to assert their dominance on the road here. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and comment your predictions below.